Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and today we're gonna talk about why Rashid is just okay in Street Fighter 6 but before I get to talk about his gameplay impressions I first want to talk about the state he came out in because that was certainly not okay obviously we have all seen the level 2 super bug that thankfully have been taken out he does have another bug with his like wall jump I want to quickly show it to you guys I like you anti-air him you try to uppercut him but it doesn't really work out why isn't Rashid getting hit out of the wall no one knows but I do think there is an issue with Rashid right now and it kind of sucks to be honest because Capcom was doing so well with Street Fighter 6 everything was extremely polished Rashid certainly seems rushed and he is probably one of the jankiest characters in the game I get that they wanted to get him out before Evo make him tournament uh, like ready and all of that but i do think i do think it was a mistake anyways uh let's talk about this character first talk about what's good with him and why i do think he's just okay but he's not gonna be broken as we may have expected uh watching the preview builds let's start first with what he is good at and obviously the most like easy thing to spot is his corner carry right uh, Rashid combos pretty much takes you to the corner very easily and once he got you to the corner he does have a throw loop right and his corner pressure game in general is really great like you can get like even like a meaty crouching medium punch here right and that can lead to some good damage and obviously on counter hits you can get even better things and obviously he does have like his arabian cyclone and you can meet your opponent with that uh save jumps galore uh setups with the heavy whirlwind and if you got the opponent near the wall uh you have to consider the fact that the arabian cyclone is here uh so like you can go for like immediate overheads or like uh, whiff into lows or obviously like roll and then you are plus one so you get to continue to press the opponent so this is a Rashid that is very oppressive once he gets you to the corner and he does have a lot of corner carry this is a Rashid that is very powerful in the oil king way not really the Gashikun way right and obviously we have seen like his uh like his jumping stuff right we have all seen that stuff right this is a character that will jump, have fantastic Oki, have fantastic pressure. His pressure game is insane, but I do think he does have a lot of weaknesses as well, right? Let's start first with the area where I do think he will probably struggle, especially against the top tiers, right? The first one is this area right uh, because Rashid while he were very good in Street Fighter 5 he was very good from this range uh, because of crushing heavy bunch standing medium kick forward medium and all of that here he kind of struggles uh, he does have his standing medium kick and this is a pretty good poke which is fairly fair and decent startup on it right unfortunately obviously 29 frames of startup so it is prone to being whiff punished and prone to drive impact his crouching heavy bunch and obviously it's not cancelable so like if they drive impact you're done his crouching heavy punch uh, hits only once in this game it is super cancelable so it got that for it although the cancel window isn't big uh, but also it's you can't really dri uh, drive impact cancel it 35 frames on block 37 on whiff so very prone to being whiff punished as well a forward medium punch is pretty good and obviously is safe on block and you can kind of do the street fighter 5 which is just do it and then do an ex mixer after uh, but remember this game there is very little proximity block so if you get with it if you get whiffed you're done and obviously hits twice so drive impact susceptible 43 frames total that kind of sucks he does have his standing medium kick or standing heavy kick and this one is probably his best poke actually which is really far and the pushback on it uh, is pretty great uh, but also very susceptible to drive impact what is left is his light punch mixer right and light mixer is still probably his best poke but as you would have guessed it also prone to drive impact it hits three times but you have to be very close for the third hit to connect if you're doing it from like the regular distance uh you will likely just get the two hits right so kind of susceptible to drive impact as well and also because proximity block isn't great here most people can walk back and punish you right 
what is left for him are two options that I do think are great. Uh, the first one is obviously with punishing and his standing heavy punch is ridiculous at that. It's not the best active book I will say. The range on it is alright but it's nothing too crazy. It's not Luke's heavy punch but as a whiff punish uh, this is ridiculous. Punish counter combo into heavy eagle spike and bam they are in the wall and now you get to run your pressure. So as a counter book, this is ridiculous. Another thing that you can do from this distance that is very good with Rashid is voila, drive rush, right? His drive rush is fast, but you have to do it from this distance. He's not Jury, he's not Ken, he's not DJ. Uh, you're not gonna drive rush from far range into standing medium punch and then get like big damage combos and immediately like mix the opponent on what you want to do uh no his drive rush doesn't go that far right so you can't really cheese the way you would with some of the top tier characters uh, you're kind of forced to play from this range for his drive rush to be effective right uh that is that that kind of i guess complements this weak range of his now he does have another issue which is his anti-fireballs uh, he doesn't really have an anti-fireball tool he does have his own fireball but it's 17 frame startup at best right for the light so you're gonna lose fireball wars badly and he obviously like you will say but mura he does have this but uh like you have to do this move before the fireball is out and even then on this roll i was minus five so the king was able to punish me uh, you have to do the roll way before the opponent even consider doing a projectile so he doesn't have good answers to fireballs who is top tier who's one of the best in the game guile <laughs> so does that bode well for rashid not great and obviously dj got a good fireball as well ken luke all of them got good fireballs so i do think this is an area where he will struggle you kind of have to play with this double jump thing but also this can be anti-aired with some ease so his anti-fireballs isn't great his mid-range here i don't think is controlled that great he also does have an issue with anti-airs in my opinion uh he does have the heavy mixer and this works but this is invincible from frame 6 so this means that if you're doing it late like that notice Rashid actually started the animation but I got counter hit right you can certainly get counter hit out of this his other anti-air is a crouching medium this is prone to trading it's better for like far range jumps but yeah against good jumpins like Ken he's gonna trade so his anti-air isn't great. Another issue with Rashid from my experience is his practical damage output. Uh, like let's say for example you land 3 lights, here yes I got like good corner carry but 1100 that's like a heavy bunch from Marisa that's not doing that much. Obviously there are other routes like comboing into the light uh, kick then you combo a light eagle spike and this is good but doesn't give you like the best okay situation and obviously this is also 1400 only right if you want to get the big damage with rashid uh you want to land like a jump in right and then get like this sort of combos and then maybe like he will do something like this right even that almost like 1300 not that great obviously there is a lot of fruits here uh, that you can do i kind of like this one because it carries him to the corner heavily but yeah, he's kind of meter reliant, right? And if you want to practically get this medium and heavy bunches hit, you will have to rely on drive rush, right? Like something like crushing medium kick. This one, only 2000 damage, that's not great. But obviously you do uh, trade that for the corner carry. And in the corner, like if you happen to get like a heavy bunch, uh, something very basic like that is doing good damage. So in the corner, his damage output is... I will say have the potential to be high but mid screen i don't think he's that damaging and he is meter reliant does this mean that rashid is bad absolutely not right absolutely not because he does have the three fighter six dna in him right corner carry galore and throw loop city and his corner situation is very very good he does have his level 2 super which i do think is pretty amazing actually uh because this is very good at setting up a situation which is very good for him and it's tremendous if the opponent is in burnout so it's really great and his level 1 super 
Rashid kick. This one is also a pretty good reversal, and he does have some good corner, uh, like side switch combos, right? You can do stuff like that for corner uh, side switch, so that is good. Overall, I do think he's all right, uh, but I do think he's certainly got drawbacks that I can see other characters uh, kind of taking advantage of. Like, I haven't seen the Rashid versus Guile matchup yet, I've only played it once, but it was very rough. So I don't know how he will fare against some of the other top tier characters, but he's certainly good. Like his corner situation, carry and all of that is great, but I do think he is not the broken character we imagined him to be. And I do think that's good. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. I will leave a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter and Twitch pages in the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.